Hey y'all, Rome Black Folks Talk Black History Maker Series from the San Francisco winter spring. I wanted y'all to see in other areas of the country where winter has not decided to take a vacation to see what's coming up in a little while longer. Our weather's actually gonna be diving down a little bit tomorrow, but uh, this is where we are in San Francisco at this moment. And I wanted y'all to share in this beautiful place with me as I do a conversation about black history makers and the purposes of respect. Now, respect is something that we often think about on a level of other races giving respect to black people because of our accomplishments. And that is important. However, how is accomplished in the 21st century is something that we're not talking about as much. Respect is not given, it is earned, always. So, despite what our ancestors may have done, we know this is Black History Month, you as a human being living now will have to earn that respect. Now, some of you see me as a moderator on the Themis and Thoth channel. And shout out to Themis and for uh, allowing me the privilege to do that. And y'all know, from time to time, I come real hard on people who are out of pocket. I don't do that because I hate y'all. I do that because I understand the game that's being played. When you turn that computer off and you said something stupid, here's what happens. You walk away. But whatever stupid thing you said stays there as part of your personal record and a part of the black racial record of the 21st century. Because like I said at the beginning of this series, I'm not talking about all the stuff that's going on in black history. I'm talking about how we're making in the present the history of the future that our children and grandchildren are going to know about. It's a different way of thinking about the world. So. I think about this. We want respect from the individuals around us. We want respect from the people around us. Now, we as a people, our beginning in America is the beginning of abuse and trauma. And some of us have passed this down generationally. And we are still putting this on our children and our grandchildren. So some of us have grown up in environments where it was common for people to disrespect one another. And until you have knowledge to do better, that's all you know. Guess what? I am your knowledge today because I'm telling you that record that you leave follows you everywhere. This is why people come up on the show that I moderate and I'm able to hem them up for the past three months because I already know who we talking to. Just like two years, three years, four years from now, you will have a sense of who I am by looking at what I produce which is why we don't discuss things on certain channels, we don't call names, we don't get into certain issues. Because here's the thing, the way I dress people down on the air is the way I have dressed down city politicians and big business people. I always can do it, I have my data together, but I'm gonna do it in a way that maintains their human dignity and my human dignity. Because what do I want and what do they want? Respect. How you treat people and the record you leave in these social media streets has a great impact on whether you and people who look like you with the same heritage will have respect in the next 20 years. It's not looking good right now because social economically we're not doing well. However, what you do and what you say publicly and online is publicly does have an impact. It can be good or bad. But this is just a little lesson that I want to give you just drawn from what I'm seeing. I come down hard as a moderator because I already know. I already know. And if, like I said recently, if we do not disavow the foolishness, we will be, atta we will be attached to it. We're going to be attached to it anyway because we, we can't be everywhere that our reputation goes. But it is important that you discipline yourself as a black history maker to understand you want respect in the world, make sure you leave a respectful record everywhere you go. All right, thank you for watching and to the subscriber that upgraded my earphones. I am using the new ones today. I finally got it figured out. You know who you are. Thank you again so much. Bye.